Hello, my friends. OU heads to Tallahassee for the marquee game of the college football world. OU impressive in the 37-7 win in Norman a year ago. And as Shaq reports, will there be a carryover? Thanks, Al. This week, the Sooners get to break out the old measuring stick just to see how good they really are. Florida State's number five in the country. They have all the makings of a championship program as well. And plus this game, well, it's in Tallahassee, and it's going to be one wild environment. As I, as I was a child growing up, you know, I used to watch Florida State and stuff like that and see the, uh, the Indian coming out doing, you know, doing this deal. So, you know, I think that's real big. The environment is going to be crazy. I mean, you know, the game last year, so they're going to... They're going to have a chip on their shoulder. They're going to be ready. They're going to bring out all the Tallahassee to come out there and support them. So um, we have to be ready for that environment. Wherever we go, we don't usually walk in and it's uh, all subdued and nobody's excited to see us. The Seminoles are as fast as any team in the country. Assignment football won't be good enough. The Sooners have to react and react fast. This team has a lot, of, a lot of speed, and I think we have a lot of speed. So it's really just reading our keys and playing smart. Now, if Oklahoma comes out of this game with a win, sooner excitement will hit fever pitch. Beating a top five team on the road will definitely set the tone for a championship run. In Norman, Jason Shackle for 2 News works for you. All right, Shaq, thanks. Meanwhile, the loss, an embarrassing big game opener for new Florida head coach Jimbo Fisher. Still, Fisher's trying to keep his preparation for this year from being overwhelmed by revenge. We understand that, and we're going to play it to the best of our abilities and, and prepare the best we can play, but I, I don't believe in putting it all eggs in one basket. Bombshell from Tallahassee today. Former Florida State coach Bobby Bowden revealed he made it through the 2007 season fighting prostate cancer. He's now okay, but he says he kept his treatment secret for recruiting reasons. If your opponents find out you got cancer, man, it would have been headlines all over the dadgum state. Bobby Bowden has cancer. He's 77 years old. He ain't going to be alive this time next year. You know, so don't go to Florida State. So I, I didn't tell him, tell, I didn't let him get out because I didn't want to, my opponents to be able to use it against me.